I still can't believe I styled this wig like this. If you'd like to see how I did it, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna try to speak up loud because my kids are watching TV in the other room. But, so this is the look that I created. Um, my makeup, but most importantly, this is how the um, styling of this wig turned out, the two braids. I mean, I could have done it a little bit better if I had plucked the parting, but I didn't feel like that. So basically like this is what it would look like if you don't pluck the parting space and you wanted to do um, two cute little plaits right there. I think that this is a cute, really cute summer fun hairstyle. Like if you're going to like a little barbecue or a little party or something or you're just going out with your family and you just want to stay cool. I think this is perfect like it's not it's not that like long in the back so it's not that much on you if you want to you can cut it a little bit shorter later on I'm going to end up cutting this wig a little bit shorter but I do want to get a few more styles out of it most importantly this two braid one so it's it's possible it's a 13 by 6 I mean you can do almost anything to this wig you just have to be patient and be careful because it is still synthetic wig but if you guys would like to see how i created this cute little um braided bob whatever you want to call it plait hairstyle with this 41.99 i had to put the exact price 41.99 wig from amazon keep watching Bye. Okay, guys. So, I am going to put this wig on and try to style it real quick without doing the bald cap method. Um, to start, I'm just going to just push my hair like back like this and I'm just going to go along my edges with some got to be glued so yeah that's what I'm going to do push that back like that that's just to protect my hair like that then I'm just gonna go along it with the um, blow dryer Okay, and now I'm going to spray it with the got to be spray. Okay, I'm trying to just spread it along. I'm really spray it here, okay. I'm really spraying it there because it don't sometimes even when I do do the ball cap method I always have trouble with my hair like sticking right there okay and now I'm gonna go again and just until this all right next i'm gonna take my braids here 
and just put them in a bowl. All right, so I'm just gonna take my, um, what's they call elastic bands and hook them. I always hook mine the second to the last one. And then I'm gonna put my wig on. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with putting it under and flip it back. I didn't want to bring it on to my edges yet because I want to make sure. I'm just gonna brush this hair out my way real quick while I get to trying to do this wig thing. So boom, put this side in. See? Is not sticking. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do is I'm going to Take some free spray and spray it right here. Ooh, this free spray always going wherever it want to go. And I'm going to just like get it, just sit it there. Same thing over here. So, I'm just taking the edges and just like moving them out the way I don't want my edges to stay there though Just here, and I'm just gonna spray some like right here to mm. I'm just gonna lay it. Press that in. I'm gonna take my comb and press it down. Oops, and go dry it. Okay, so I'm going to pull some of this out. While that's like there, while that's happening, <laughs> you're my baby. She's talking to boss baby. So I'm gonna try to figure out a style 
for this damn hairstyle. So this is wig. So it's oops. so it's a 13 by 6, right? So we know that part. I'm just going to hold this down as a brush because I'm not trying to lift this wig up. It's already like fake glue down. Okay. So it's 13 by 6. So let's see how. Alright. So we got some part and space here. I think I want to do. A bun. First of all, I shouldn't even be using a comb to do this shit. Like, cause if I do a middle part. is a middle part. I don't like a middle part, I don't think. At least I don't think I do. I wanted to do like a bun. Maybe I could do like maybe I could do like a breed. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. What is she talking about? My baby. I said this is going to be cute. I see. I think I should, I think I should use this.
so it could, I might have to put a rubber band on them. To make them, like, stay, stay. Da da. wiggy to me but like if I could have pulled this part a little bit more it would have been better Lila chill out bye playing with you girl Hold on, y'all. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna pluck this. What? Huh? Lila. this part up. Cool. Alright, so now I'm going to spray this hair so it can get back curly. My baby is tripping, y'all. So now that we got that done, we're gonna do these baby hairs. So I'm gonna take this. <sighs> Hold on, she dropped it. If she dropped that bottle again, that's on sis. And I think she did. All right, so to do my baby hair, I'm going to try to hurry this up because she is in her bag. 
So I'm only going to do it to here. Mmm, trying to rush, rush, rush. Guys, this is not an easy job with a baby. She's. Alright, I'm gonna start. Guys, swooping this part like that. Swooping these. Into here. I want them a little bit shorter, so I'm just gonna like go in and just chop that off. Cause I don't even want all that baby here. I just want them to be like, yeah. This one this way. Like that. And then these ones is hella thick. So I'm gonna cut these ones too. Like uh. there we go. Then I'm gonna just take some got to be and just push this part back with some free spray. I'm just gonna brush this part to here like this. Baby, one second. All right, lastly, before she kill me, I'm just gonna take some black opal foundation cream in the shade Nutmeg, which is probably a little bit darker than my shade. With a little brush, and I'm gonna brush. I'm gonna um carve out this part here. Just to give it a little bit. Just to make it pop a little bit more. See that? Mm. Alright. I'm going to rush and do this. So this is the finished look. I am going to 
quiet my baby down, put her down for a nap, do my makeup, come back so you guys can see how it look. Bye.